Hello and welcome to another Morales Minute. These are quick tips and sage advice to level up your Web3 game development. Hi, my name's Sam. I'm a Unity certified developer at Morales. I have over 20 years of game dev experience and more than 10 years experience as a digital nomad. I love spending time in nature and practicing sports, as well as drawing, painting, and making music. Together, we'll learn more about the Web3 industry. Web3 technology, including decentralization, immutability, and transparency, enables new user experiences. Follow the latest news and trends to inform and empower your project development. Morales includes complete learning resources. Learn more about the Morales Web3 Unity SDK by clicking the link above. And click above to learn more about calling smart contracts from Unity. The Web3 Unity SDK Examples Project is a series of standalone scenes inside Unity that shows key features of the Morales SDK. Now let's talk about smart contracts. A smart contract is a program that's running on the blockchain. From Unity, we can call functions on that to perform different operations. We can also get return values back from those functions, as well as hear from events broadcast by the contract itself. Some of the common communication flows are deployment, run contract function, execute contract function, and events emitted from the smart contract. By learning to debug and test our smart contracts, we can improve all of this workflow. Debugging is the process of detecting and removing bugs in software. Testing is the process of looking at the artifacts and the behavior of software, making sure it's doing what we want. For testing, we're talking about validation and verification. Validation is, have we built the software right? Did we build it correctly? And verification is, have we built the right software? Does it meet our needs and our customers' needs? These practices will help us build a better product with less time and less risk. Let's take a look at the contract workflow. Here we'll write the contract, debug the contract, test the contract, deploy the contract, and call that contract from within Unity. You can write your contracts in any text editor you like. I use Visual Studio Code, and here's a great plugin you can use that makes writing Solidity even easier. This is the contract file. We're going to be talking more about debugging and testing, but if you have questions about how to write the contract itself, take a look at the earlier video that I linked to. Here's some helpful debugging. By adding the line here of console log, you can look at your terminal running and see contract log statements come directly out while this contract is being tested. This is very useful for debugging and figuring out where there may be mistakes in your code and helping to fix them so that you get the best solution. We can detect potential issues in our code by using require, revert, and assert. To learn more about how these are used, you can take a look at the Solidity documentation. Now let's talk about testing. So one workflow would be to write it, make sure it compiles, and then do all of your testing from the Unity side. But popping over to Unity every time you want to test something introduces some added complexity, and when you find an error, it's not quite evident if the error exists on the Unity side or on the Solidity contract side. So a suggestion here is to do some testing before you go into Unity. One of the great features of the hardhat deployment is it includes test framework called Mocha. You're able to do the tests inside here. Here we'll use the convention of arrange, act, and expect. If we want to test the get greeting and set greeting, we can use the arrange to set it up, the act to call the method, and then set the expected result. You'll see in the terminal, before you even go into Unity, that all these things pass in the expected way. The more code coverage and testing you do on your public Solidity methods here, the smoother the process will be from the Unity side. To deploy the contract, we'll use the hardhat config and then the deployment script itself. Something of note here you can see highlighted is that I'm console logging out something that I would find very useful. Now this might be different per project, and just to note, you could customize this deployment however it works best for you. But what I get from the result here after running the deployment is some easy copy and paste that I can take from here into Unity 
with the ABI and the address that's needed for Unity to know how to call that contract. Let's talk about tasks. Tasks are a hard hat feature that lets you do one or more operations together, batching them. Typically, when I would run the contract to get it ready for Unity, I would clean, compile, test, and then deploy. Now, those are four one line statements that you'd run in the terminal with a little bit of waiting in between them. What I can do is simplify some or all of those steps into a task. I've called one CCT for clean, compile, and test. Now I've only got to call two commands. This task code shown in white is run inside the hardhat config. Now here's a question for you. I use the task to simplify here, but I'm still calling two commands. How could I combine both of those into one command? If you know, put a comment below the video now. And as a bonus question, can you tell me who it is that's shown in this question mark GIF? And finally, from the Unity side, we're going to call that deployed smart contract. We've got two things we can do here. We can use run contract function or execute contract function. To see more of the details about that, take a look at the video that I linked to earlier here. But the quick highlight is that run contract function is good for calling functions on your smart contract that are read only, that don't change the state. And if you do have some read and write operations, then you would use the execute contract function. Now, as a bonus, I wanted to show that each time you deploy in the terminal, it will show and verify your contract. You can click through to see the polygon scan link there. The web page that you're directed to will allow you to call read operations and write operations on your contract. You're able to auth through MetaMask or other auth tools in your browser. And imagine how great that is from a debugging and testing standpoint. Even before you get into Unity now, you've been able to debug and set up tests inside Hardhat. You're able to call all the public methods that are available, even ones that require signing and auth. This greatly simplifies your life once you get into Unity. If and when you detect a bug at that point, you have more confidence that the error you're going to fix is on the Unity side. And just that level of knowledge helps you focus your efforts as you finish up development. That's it. Level up your Web3 development skills by building weekend projects. Sign up at morales.io slash projects. Visit docs.morales.io to download and get started. Thanks.